I just love the look of these 70s Porsche 911s, especially in good condition like this one. My name is Philip Tarrant. We'll never talk to you about this lovely car here today. It's a 1976 911 S. This particular car is actually an import and it was originally a left-hand drive. But it's been here since the mid-90s and it's got a huge amount of receipts. The car looks gorgeous right down to its near new Pirelli tyres front and back. In addition to the four speed it's actually got a, a five speed transmission. It's got 193,000 kilometres and look it really does just start and drives beautifully. And that's probably because it's had so much money spent on it over the past 15 to 20 years. You can see it's red in colour. You know, on the bonnet, you know, there is a little bit of grazing, but it is a 1976 model car. The wheels look absolutely fantastic. We'll have a look at these, uh, some of these receipts, actually. I think that's a good idea to see those. Even things like the rubber spoiler in very good condition, nice and soft. It came from Queensland, I believe it is still registered in Queensland, but we can definitely put New South Wales registration on this car. It's got a nice big exhaust, it sounds fantastic. Looking down the sides, it seems pretty good really. So there's a folder here. I'm not going to go through all of the receipts, but if you can see in here, there's a huge amount. There's quite literally over a hundred receipts for things which have been done. So someone's really looked after it, which is very important for a car of this age. And for a good Australian delivered example of a late 70s 911 like this, it'd be well in excess of $40,000. So I think with a car like this, if you just at some stage maybe spend a little bit of money on bringing the paint up a bit, we haven't tried to polish it or anything like that. And it's a car which really needs to be seen to be appreciated for what it really is. Red, uh, red with black interior, I think it's one of the best colour combinations to have. The seats look like they've been recovered at some stage. And they've done an okay job, but I think it actually could be done better if that's something you wanted to get done. The only other thing I know is just the, the hood lining on the roof is just sagging a little bit. That's something we could have done as well if, if you know, if required. But all the gauges are very good. It's in kilometres an hour, not miles. You know, even if it, you start it after not being driven for a, a week, it starts absolutely beautifully. Surprisingly, these, these have sort of started to go up in value over the past five or ten years. And the same thing's happening with older Mercedes-Benz as well. So they really are coming a bit of a collector's item. But if you're looking for a 911 in good condition for a reasonable price, and you want something which actually has a, a good amount of receipts to it, so you can see that the money's been spent and it's keeping in good condition, you really can't go past something like this. I haven't opened the bonnet or the boot open on one of these for a while. There we go. Let's see if we can have a quick look. Oops, one more. Ah, uh, there must be a trick to it. I thought there might be. Oh, there we go. Says the, what looks like the original 2.7 litre engine. Looks like it's got a, one new belt on it. We haven't washed down the engine at all. It's just as traded, but it does look to be pretty good. If you'd like to come in and inspect the car and take it for a drive yourself, we would welcome the opportunity, as we do think it's, it's a very good example. So this business is actually the old timer centre, 
Uh, we're located in Marrickville in Sydney. And we certainly do look forward to hearing from you. We specialise in European cars. Thanks again.